Our next speaker is Dr. Juan Carlos Patron Uruburu, and I apologize if I've mangled your name, John, from the uh, Hospital Britannica de Buenos Aires in Argentina, and he will be speaking on adoption rates around the world. Hello, thank you very much for the invitation, Tonya. It's a big pleasure for me to be here at SAGES in my first time. Okay, we'll try to give you what, uh, what are the adoption rate around the world. I have nothing to disclose. The problem is well, uh, we don't know we see really the adoption rate around the world. And uh, why it's important to know because uh, we, we, don't, we know now that laparoscopic resection has the same improved outcome than open surgery, maybe with fewer complications, some or improved oncologic outcome, and maybe with similar cost. But uh, we have evidence to support that. If we search on internet with these two keywords, laparoscopy and colectomy, we can find around 2,000 papers published and in the last 10 years, around 900 100 papers are published. The evidence for cancer surgery is strong too from those well-known uh, trials, and new evidence is coming from those. And a lot of papers were operated on in, like the, in laparoscopic arm in those big uh, trials group that uh, are so many patients. But after 20 years doing laparoscopic surgery, 20, de 20 years e e with experience and uh, publishing a lot of paper, what is really going on in, around the world and how many surgeons are using this approach? What happened around in, 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 in different countries? We don't know. And how to know? Search the web is one way, email some friends, and email colorectal society around the world. The first problem when uh, you search the web is maybe uh, we can lose some data that is not published in English, and this is a problem. But if you look for, for paper published only in English, we can easily find those papers from US and Canada with an adoption rate around 6%, more or less. Um, from Japan, we can find this very nice paper recently published that the use of laparoscopic surgery for, for, for colon cancer has risen from 12% in 2006 to almost 16% in 2007. This is another paper from Japan uh, for uh, colorectal cancer and laparoscopic surgery, and we can see how the number of the procedure are increasing in, in this country. And what's happened in my region in Latin America? We have data published there too, from Argentina, my country, from Brazil, from Chile, from Venezuela too, but the problem with, this, with those papers is that are not public in English and uh, most are not indexed in PubMed and are very difficult to find it. I sent a word survey to know what happened in the rest of the world. Uh, I emailed the societies around the world with an exclusion criteria for web pages with not English, Spanish or Italian option that I can understand and countries with no available web page. I send an email to those societies too, European Society, Asian Pacific, Latin America, and the Mediterranean Society. The only uh, that has a number that gave me a number was the Mediterranean Society with 12% adoption rate. And I was um, in, uh, impressed that for the others, World Society, they have no data about the adoption rate. Really, we didn't know which is the adoption rate. The next step was to send an, an, an email to every independent society that is listed in this slide, and those words that uh, society answered to me. And uh, I, I did the same with the Latin American societies, and those were the countries answered. And those are the results. 
the first one is the present for uh, Argentina. I did it uh, for, for, for the present meeting. The second, you can see Austria report 12 to 15 percent. Belgium, uh, as a president of the European Society, Dr. Pennings, sent me a, a, an approximation from the PROCARE database, uh, around 29 percent. From Brazil, my friend Sergio, uh, Sergio Regada report 5 percent for the whole colorectal society and 20 percent if you consider big centers. Great Britain and Netherlands, 20 percent. Italy, 25. Malaysia, 5 percent for general surgeon and 20 percent for colorectal. Venezuela, 26 percent uh, in a local publication. And again, the society of the, of the Mediterranean Society was 12 percent and this involved 14 countries. This is an average 18 percent of, 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 of the country uh, answer the request. And what's happened in Argentina? In Argentina, I send a, a more extensive uh, survey. We are 256 members uh, in the Society of Colorectal Surgeons and almost we are uh, 4,000 members in the General Society. And I, I get those, those results. For uh, colorectal surgeons, we have a 17 adoption rate. And for general surgeons, one person adoption. The good thing is that uh, around 62% of the procedure were done by a specialist in my country. And if we see this, this, uh, this table, uh, you can see here in the previous uh, survey did by Dr. Salomon, is my partner in 2007, we have uh, five years later, 7% more uh, surgeons doing colorectal surgery. And those are the numbers of the patient operated on in my country in three different periods of time. And only one surgeon uh, from the Italian hospital, Dr. Vaccaro, report uh, as a regular practice, hand assistant laparoscopy, and it represents 2% of the, of the total. And what's uh, happened with the age of the surgeon? This is an important thing because I found that 72% of the surgeons has between 30 to 50 years and almost all of the procedure were done by, by surgeons between 30 to 60 years. The, the centers that the, the surgeons work, 78% of the surgeons work in big cities. 55% of the procedure were done in big uh, reference centers, but an important number of, of patients are operated on in non-referral centers. If we compare this with the Canada experience, this is a very nice paper from Malou. Uh, he, he, uh, he described some predictors and barriers to offer uh, laparoscopic approach. And as a predictor, he said that uh, recent graduation is one of the predictors, male sex, practice location, university hospital affiliation, a minimal invasive surgery training, and as a barrier, lack of operative time and not formal training. From the Japanese experience, again, we, we have the age of the surgeon as one of the most important predictors to no offer laparoscopic surgery to the patient, and they found that 60, over 65 years is a, is a predictor for them. Now, we know that the 80% of the surgeons around the world are not offering laparoscopic surgery with, with a strong evidence that was uh, seen before. Uh, and uh, the question is why? I think that uh, those are the, the, the reasons. I'm too old. This is the only thing that we cannot change. The other, uh, high risk, I, I have high risk patient, obese patient, previous abdominal surgeries, elderly patients, for the others, open surgery is the same. And we, um, we have data supporting that for high-risk patient, 
obesity, prior abdominal surgeries. Elderly, I think, is the best option to approach those patients. And what are the reasons in Argentina to, to, to offer surgery, lap laparoscopic surgery to our patient? I, I think that we have less of these patients. Major, our major academic centers start doing with cancer uh, since they began. And uh, in US, I think, the was most popular after the big trial finish after 2004. Maybe my country is less controlled and the acceptance of the patient is, is, is high, it's, it's very big. In my regular practice, I, I never had a patient denied to be operated on by laparoscopy. And I was impressed when I read this paper from Australia and New Zealand. This is a very good paper. But they had 55 of the patients declined to participate or to be operated on by laparoscopy. And this is a point that we can see. We have the problem. and. What are the solution? Maybe just wait because new generation of surgeons are coming. A stimulation of the basic laparoscopic surgery in the CC training program is, is, is still essential. And declare why not laparoscopic colon resection as a gold standard. Maybe this push up the numbers. And I have a question with no answer. Is the evidence for the advantage of laparoscopic colon resection is strong? Why do you continue doing comparison with open surgery? Is it ethical? Thank you very much.